I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know why I'm even bothering to talk about this topic, especially considering the fact that this topic has been died down for a few weeks, and since I'm taking the time to work on other projects, this seems like a terrible video to do at this time. Especially since Hopeless Peaches and Hero Hey have both made videos talking about this subject, one doing more than the other. But hey, this gives me an excuse to pump out some easy content since I want to talk about art while doing some drawing while I work on more serious projects. So what the hey, being late to another party has never stopped me before. So frig off. Besides, this reminds me about a topic I talked about a year ago. I put out a video talking about how people were essentially getting pissed off about a character design and many people went out of the way to fix artwork, mainly due to how some people considered some designs to be overly sexual. What is this? Now, the artist who did this claims that Nessa is now no longer hypersexualized and her back makes sense. Oh no, a design of a character has sex appeal. Why does that need to be fixed? Seriously, can female characters no longer be sexy or appealing anymore? I mean in that video, I also talked about how Nessa and how fan art of her was being demonized simply because people were, well, drawing her skin in a lighter palette. <sighs> I really do not like the concept of fixing artwork, especially how some people come off as if they're trying to do God's work while doing this. And even people who say, like, this design is overly sexual. Despite the fact that if you say a design is overly sexual when it really isn't, that kind of says more about you than the actual design. Because while a design can't be seen as attractive, to say some designs are overly sexualized is really... Ah! This happened with Nessa and Kasumi from Persona 5 Royal. Where the latter, some people actually claim that a leotard was being overtly sexual. When Kasumi is actually a gymnast, so... When claiming that the people behind the original design are, and I quote, back on their horny bullshit again. Cause this isn't the first time we've seen this. No, 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 no. Remember a few months back when we got the design for the new Persona 5 character, Kasumi? Well, another artist added a skirt to Kasumi's Thief costume. All, uh, good. However, when you decide to spout your ideology and then refuse to talk to people about it, that's just asking for trouble in that regard. But recently, in the last couple months, months, the same thing popped up again, this time in regards to a specifically an anime. Shock of all shocks, anime is pissing people off online. So meet Uzaki-chan. And you have a pair of eyes, you can probably tell the two reasons that people have issue with this character. That's right, her figure and how youthful she looks. And there's a third that she apparently looks like a boy with tits? What? Throw in the fact there are some big brain individuals out there who are claiming that if you like the design, you are essentially, well, concerned that YouTube likes to do things to channels to make them be null and void. Let's just say you'll be accused of liking lollies. Yeah, not even kidding on that. What the fuck? You are here, and you're an idiot. Although, I'd like to point out that this anime, the character is 19 going on 20. She's in college, and unlike, say, a certain video game that's set in a high school, has characters dressed up in high school attire, with the developer claiming that his characters are over 18 despite what the game conveys otherwise, all the while being overtly sexual with them. <coughs> the context of Uzaki's show and manga actually backs this up that she is in college. The narrative about her body type helping in this regard doesn't make a lot of sense either. Especially those who are interested in more younger characters wouldn't favor the curvaceous body types of more mature women. Throw on the fact that most women in Japan are basically around 5 foot for the average, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Funnily enough, this actually reminded me of an article written by Jason Schreier. Basically, Jason Schreier called the design of the sorceress from Dragon's Crown to be, and I'm not kidding you this, a lolicon fantasy. Yes, this design is designed to be a lolicon fantasy. That was truly cringeworthy. I really have to wonder if these people are blind sometimes or if they stuck too many forks in electrical sockets. As you can see, this is nothing new. People keep complaining about designs of characters. Sometimes they're more valid than others, other times they just don't make a lot of sense. And more often than not, they'll often attribute people who actually do like the designs to be unsavory characters. From what I understand, it turns out that there are people who are actually mocking others who actually have the same body type or body type that's closer to Azaki-chan. Why is it that we're beginning to shame people for having bodies like this in real life now? It's almost like people have different body types. And even though people have similar body types, you also have to remember the fact that this is an anime. A cartoon. 
a piece of fiction that is meant to be stylized. It's something that anime and manga have been doing all the time. I mean, have you looked at JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Jotaro Kujo is 17 years old, yet he looks like he's supposed to be in his mid-20s and he's a beefcake. Do you understand? To be frank, I don't really care for Uzaki's design or the show myself. It's not offensive to me, I just don't really care for these slice of life shows. Even if this one does take it the brilliant step into going into college. And I've probably just offended the Yuzaki fans just now for saying that. <laughs> Regardless, this kind of situation makes me roll my eyes. This is fiction. These aren't real characters or people. This is an animated character that has exaggerations and is done for stylization. Again, this is something that animation, cartoons, comics, manga, illustrations for both men and women have been going on for time on end. Hell, Uzaki's design isn't even all that sexualized if you ask me. Just because a character has a big chest, that doesn't automatically mean it's sexualized. Especially when you consider the fact that most of the time her clothing is actually more conservative. Yeah, there are sexual scenes in the anime from what I've seen. But, you know, that's kind of typical of anime. And at least this character is actually legal. You don't have to like the show. I don't like it. You don't have to like the design. I don't like it. Nor do I really care for it. And I'll probably forget about this whole mess by the time I get done recording this video and getting it out there to you people. I mean, I know I'm late to the party, but that still doesn't make me stop talking about this kind of BS. I never really cared for how artists, creators, and even drawings on the internet get demonized and how their works are essentially being turned into pariahs. It's something that kind of pisses me off. Again, I'm getting flashbacks to what happened a little bit ago with Nessa and Kasumi, with artists essentially being treated like criminals because they have a slightly different color or use a style that's a slightly bit suggestive. And then going on to essentially call characters and people who like the designs of these characters and the designers to be very serious criminals doing terrible things. And it just makes me sick at this prospect, especially when you're accusing people in such backhanded ways by basically making a tweet. Again, you can dislike the design. I certainly don't like it. But others do, and frankly, it's a 2D drawing of a woman who's in college, 19 to 20 years old. I don't see what the problem is. It's not like she's even an aged-up character from a younger version of herself. She's canonically an adult when the series takes place, and people are getting upset over it. Maybe it's because I'm becoming an old man recently, but this kind of thing just blows my mind. And of course, this happens in the cesspool of the internet, Twitter. Well, that and Reddit, but nay, comparing garbage fires is always fun, I guess. Hey, when you're bored, you gotta find something to complain about. Guess it's just anime women nowadays. But whatever, this was a short video, though I work on more interesting content. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna work on a video where the characters look like this. If that's what you stand for, then we want no part of your stupid regimen. It's time we fight for fairness. For the people of Vinyl City. We fight for the little guys! Zook, come here! Put your hand next to mine! Huh? Oh, uh, okay. What are you doing? Just hold up your pinky finger! Oh, like this? No, put your hand next to mine. No, the other side! Oh, okay. A bit more to the right. No, my right. But I was moving to your right. No, you just... Ah, never mind, move left. Like this? More! Left, 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 left! Yahoo! For the little guys! Hey, gonna get on this game's case for having characters being over-exaggerated proportions? Ah, uh, nuts, I probably jinxed it. Anyway, I'm Mongo Common. Thanks for watching, and remember to examine your fandom. Bye!